Okay, so my friend, this is going to be a short video, and please, for most of you, it'll be a waste of time. It's just about a little thing about graphs, but my friend is a really good guy named Rich. And he, he said, well, you know, help me with this graph. All he wanted was to, to, I think, to make the scales different. But let's just very quickly say we want to make this graph a little bit uh, uh uh, a little bit different, and maybe, of course, all you would do is, let's say I want to make it uh, one, one uh, 1990, okay, oops, oh no, did I, uh, uh, well, that's 990, it should be this, shouldn't it, okay, and then all we could do is, and, and what I'm going to do is show you how to use the NA stuff, of course, and then how to click on this graph and have it just show up as a bigger graph. It's just a silly little macro where you've got to copy the graph to another one and copy it back and blah, blah, blah. Simple macro. So let's just put our little uh, 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 start date here. And, and, and all we do is we put, a, a, I guess I will use an if statement. If this is less than... How about or equal to, and to debate that, than this, then we'll put NA, I'm doing it backwards, otherwise we put the date. Okay, and then we just double click on that one. Ah, come on. And then we, uh, uh, let's put our value there. So that's the first one. And then, of course, oops. Oh, shift. Okay, and, and then, uh, now, if you if you do this, I think you can just. Oops, I better. <laughs> I better. Shit. Okay, and then uh, let's make this graph uh, alternate F one, right? And I guess he liked the line graph. And, um, whoops. God, what a waste of your time. I, I don't know if I'll have to uh, put this video up later or not. Okay, and then, uh, and then we can uh, put it here. And the other thing I'd like to do is, is perhaps then... Uh, you can change this, and of course, you can make a, your your little thing to go down. Let's make uh, let's make EIS and go to a column, and let's start in uh, 1965. Alt EIS uh, and make it a column, and go to 2021. And um, quickly, very quickly, make a, a uh, drop-down box. Okay. Um, uh, go to a different sheet. Oh, come on. Uh, this sheet, back to this sheet. Why don't we just get this one there? And put us a link on it. Uh, how about here? Select one of them, and then we can put a index, of course, like that. All right. And up here we can put equal date this year. Comma one, comma one. Okay. And then we can quickly, if we want to go all the way back to the beginning, like uh, this one. Uh, better put the uh, thing in here. Okay. And, uh, hmm. okay. Then we'll, we'll uh, uh, you know, why don't we put the, 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 the very last value. So let's put this uh, um, 
how about uh, U.S. rate of ownership from, and then we can put this date here, and then we put two, and we put a max of uh, this line, I guess. Oops, what happened here? Hmm. <laughs> I hope that this is, God, I don't know if I should put this video on. And then uh, final value, and we can just put a, 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 a X lookup, or let's just use a regular old lookup in case you don't have X lookup. And we'll look up this against that and get the, the value. Okay, and then we can put that in our title, and we're finished. Okay, and if you really want, let's get a little bit fancier here. Well, it's almost like this is the right one, but if you wanted to make absolutely sure this goes on, on a separate line, you click on that and you press Alt to uh, 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 enter. Okay, so if we... Now, if we put a different uh, date in, and then of course I've got to, why don't I do this? Assign a macro and we'll make it new and we'll put uh, uh, calculate. Because I'm having problems with the silly uh, um, shortcut made by this. Uh, this thing okay enough of that and then finally if you want you could right click on this and you can uh, uh, well let, let's just control C let's just make a new sheet and copy it to the sheet and then after we copy it to the sheet that didn't work oh I've got two sheets clicked Come on. Okay. Excuse me for being an idiot about all this. And then we'll move this chart and let's just make it a new sheet. Okay. And let's just call it sheet one. We don't need this one out to yell. Okay. And then we can, uh, 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 on this one, we can just assign a, a little macro to it. Okay, and, and then just put uh, here uh, sheets like this. And I'm sure this has to be a, a capital like this. And then all you can do, you just click on the sheet and it takes you there. And then if you want it to be a little fancier and Put, let's put another, uh, whatever. Oof. Why isn't it allowing me to do this? Uh, why, 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 why? I just want a little uh, thing. Okay. Well, yeah, let's go back here. I don't know what this is. Let's insert a, uh, uh, shape. How about an arrow or something? Where's where's it? Where was one of the big arrows? Okay. This. Okay. And let's uh, copy that. So I hate. I shouldn't really make such waste of time videos, and especially since I'm doing it in such a crappy way. Why can't I get it to this one? Okay, I don't have any idea what I did wrong, and let's, let's, this is just, uh, is this sheet one? No, oh, this is a Fred graph. Oh, cool. Uh, let's just go back to the sheet two, okay, which you could, of course, do a lot other stuff. You could put that long name there, but I don't want to do that. I, all I want to do is go down here and assign a macro and press new and put uh, sheets two. 
let's select. And of course, if you uh, if you change the number, it won't work and all that. And now we'll go back. So we click on this sheet, go back to this one, and so far, so far, so good. And then we can copy this and just put it on chart one. Okay. And, and then we can get a little more of a flexible graph. Uh, and, oh, crap. Uh, we, we, we should say uh, uh, sheets two and dot calculate. Okay. Excuse me for that. Let's let's make sure this works. <laughs> and it didn't. And I'm not giving. Okay, it appears that I made a criminal. <laughs> what am I doing? I, I criminally did not on this one. Is this really true? I criminally did not go to a different sheet, back to the same sheet, and click on this one. Unbelievable. Okay, sorry about that. And that's just a little bit of a review. Whether uh, I, I hope you didn't waste your time watching too much of this. Okay, very good. Bye. Ah, get me out of here. Get this video off.